Do you remember how at school they told you about the life cycle of a frog? Well, I'm going to tell you about the life cycle of a computer project. It's split into several distinct phases, just like that with a frog, really. First of all, some user sits down and says, Oh, I think it'd be a good idea if... And they write out what they think a computer project should cover. Now, the first thing that needs to be decided is the scope of the project. What's included and what's not included. Because otherwise you're going to get something called mission creep. And mission creep is deadly to costs and to timekeeping. The next thing is for the computing people to go away and write out a list of system requirements. Exactly what will the computer programs be able to do? And that list has to be agreed with the user. So everybody knows what's in, what's out and how things will work. You then have to get down to designing the system. Every system has to be designed rather than just written. If you just write it, you're going to end up with a load of drivel and it will never work. You've got to sit down and work out which programs are needed, what screens are needed and exactly how it's all going to work. And only then can you get down to coding. Coding is what you do after you've designed the system. Well, that code that you write, well, obviously you're going to be good, but there are going to be people out there who make little errors. So all code has to go through a process of testing. You have to be able to prove that the code works. The final stage is the maintenance and expansion of the system. As you go through, users will have had really good ideas about, oh, and if you just added... Those should never be done whilst the project is being created. They happen afterwards. Once the project is live and working, then you can think about maintaining and expanding the system. Because you wrote it, the system will be good and the users will want to expand it. And if they want to expand it, they're going to have to go around the cycle again go into the determination of scope of the new extensions and then carry on round just as before.